Hello and welcome to ProBench How To Series. So in this particular session or uh, video, uh, I'm going to cover uh, how to add uh, logins and uh, means, uh, when I say logins is the participant logins in ProBench uh, using uh, the administrator uh, access. Uh, so uh, uh, so uh, just to kind of uh, give a brief. So there are two ways to add uh, logins into the system. One is uh, using the registration process that we have. Uh, so whenever a user, a company user registers, uh, uh, he is automatically uh, registered as a, a login. Uh, uh, and uh, the other way is how the administrators uh, go to user management menu uh, and there is a logins menu and using that menu, they can uh, add uh, the logins into the system. Okay, so uh, the two ways that I just mentioned is this is one is the registration page that we normally uh, have on our uh, page. So whatever details the users add, the same details goes into the, the as a logins. Okay, uh, and uh, second is uh, the uh, login screen. So when I go to once, once I log in as a manager or an administrator, uh, I go in to user management and then logins. So when I click on logins, I see all the logins that are there for uh, uh, your website. Uh, and uh, it would give me the information like uh, the confirms, whatever user email addresses are, what's the first name, last name, uh, and the number of companies they are associated with. Okay, so I'll, I'll get into uh, further details on uh, other areas. So now if I want to add uh, a login, uh, what I need to do is I, I, I click here. I have to go and click on the plus icon on the top. Okay. So when I click on the plus icon, I'll see the first name, last name. So for this uh, demo purpose, I'll use uh, demo first name and demo last name. And then here uh, in place of email address, I'll for now use our 73 bit email address and password I'll have to decide what password I need to give to that user and uh, leave these two things uh, I, I'll get into the details of them uh, I'll click on uh, account is suspended uh, uh, means I'll, I'll activate the user and click on create okay and once I create, uh, I'll have a way where I would be able to associate it with a company. Okay, so this uh, on the, even on the first screen when I created it, uh, this drop down was available, but I did not select because it does not save on the first place. Uh, when I click on associated with, uh, I'll see all the companies who are part of the system and I'll, I'll have to select one company to which this particular user should be associated with. Okay, so I will uh, select a company. So in this case, I'll select 73 bit limited and click on update. Okay, so this is how I, I create uh, uh, the login uh, if we want to do it manually uh, and don't want to go get into the registration process. Uh, so this is what it is. Now, there are a couple of fields that I uh, kind of skipped in between. Uh, so these are the two fields. So one is the confirm uh, password. Uh, uh, there was a confirmation box uh, that was there uh, when I click on add. So let me try to add one more login and you will see this confirmation key and com confirmation URL. So this is when uh, like uh, if you have a registration process where uh, uh, there is an email confirmation required, uh, then in that case, uh, uh, and if suppose a user complains that they have not received a confirmation uh, email address uh, or a confirmation email, uh, then in that case, those uh, key, the confirmation key and the URL would be displayed here. So you yourself can either pass those details to that 
particular user if it's an legitimate user or you can uh, yourself just uh, activate it uh, by your case because unless the confirmation is done uh, if you have that kind of a registration process then the users would not be activated so only after the confirmation is done the user is activated so you have to so if you want or you have to do it manually like if the user have not received the confirmation email then what you can do is you can just directly go uh, and activate that user and click on update okay so so that's uh, that is what is the confirmation key so i'll again go to my user so that i can show you other things uh, now in this case suppose there is a uh, another scenario where user says that i have clicked on forgot password or i have forgotten my password uh, uh, what what should uh, you do as as an administrator so uh, like if they have forgot on their password and not used the forgot password link uh, on the registration page uh, on the registration page so let me take you to that so there is a lost your password uh, link here on on your pages on respective sign in pages so when you click on that page they'll ask for a uh, email address so let me uh, enter the email address i entered okay and now i'll click on send email so it would say a temporary uh, password has been sent to your email address please click here to log in now let me see if i have received the email uh, that was mentioned here so yeah i have received this forgot password email uh, saying that welcome demo first name demo last name uh, and this is my uh, temporary password okay so this is the temporary password now i'll go back to the administrator screen okay and refresh this particular screen like uh, or or maybe go to the logins and search for hello uh, so in the hello i'll click on edit so you'll see the same temporary password uh, has been added to the uh, forgotten password key okay so this temporary key would be acting as the new password for the users okay uh, so in case users come to you and say that they have not received uh, a forgot password email or they have not received that temporary password you can just feel free to log in into the system uh, and uh, uh, go to the forgot password uh, key uh, uh, copy this key and send them up uh, an email uh, one to one email with this password and they will be able to log in using this particular password so once this password is created uh, uh, it, it's not that their old password won't work so uh, if they have uh, if they remember their old password uh, then they can definitely use their old password uh, else they can use this new uh, forgotten key uh, uh that has been assigned okay so this is how the user management works uh, another very important thing uh, with the user management is that uh, every user should be at least uh, assigned to one company here so if they are not associated with any company uh, uh, they would not be able to log in uh, to the system okay so if you are creating them manually you make sure that they are associated with at least one company okay uh, so that is that about this particular screen here uh, one more thing is about the logs so uh, at the bottom of the screen whenever you go to a particular user you will uh, find this uh, things where uh, you'll get the details like when was the user created uh, so this would give you if you are not doing it manually and someone is registering into the system you will come to know when did they register using this particular uh, uh, field here and then there is a confirmed on so uh, if they if your registration process is like uh, confirming the email addresses uh, then you will also come to know on what date they, did they confirm on currently it, it's showing me the same date and i did not go through the confirmation thing is because like when i click on active this confirmation uh, date is updated okay so whenever a user is updated uh, the confirmation link is updated 
okay uh, the next is the the last logged in on so whenever the user logs in after the activation uh, and tries to get into the system or responds to a particular so last logged in date would be available as well uh, if they have uh, kind of uh, uh, they have requested like for a forgot password thing uh, so they'll get a date here uh, whenever the they uh, the password is changed or they use the change password functionality then a date is updated uh, uh, whenever like uh, they uh, attempt wrong passwords okay uh, in that case uh, you will see the number of attempts they have done uh, so if they do more than five wrong attempts they would be locked out of the system and get deactivated so that's how the system works and if you have deactivated them or, uh, or like uh, then it would be like on what date it was they were deactivated and who deactivated them so the whole log of that particular user is uh, here itself okay so uh, you'll get all the details from here and whenever you download this csv uh, format you will get these details of all the users uh, at one time okay so if i uh, currently download it uh, let me try and open it up for you okay so you will see all the details like which are the users that are currently on the system uh, like and then like what is what is their uh, company they are associated with uh, what is their first name last name what when did they last log in on when was the user created uh, when was the confirmation done uh, so all all these details are uh, given in this csv so you can uh, get a complete glance of it okay so hopefully this uh, session was useful uh, i'll record another session with uh, specifically for the faqs on user management uh, or logins uh, so uh, I, i'll uh, stay tuned uh, for this thank you so much for uh, listening bye bye